The Plot Against America by Philip Roth. Chapter 2, November 1940 to June 1941. Loudmouth Jew. On June 1941, just six months after Lindbergh's inauguration, our family drove the 300 miles to Washington, D.C. to visit the historic sites and the famous government buildings. My mother had been saving at a Christmas club account at the Howard Savings Bank for close to two years, a dollar a week out of the household budget to cover the bulk of our prospective travel expenses. The trip had been planned back when FDR was a second-term president and the Democrats controlled both houses. But now, with the Republicans in power and the new man in the White House considered a treacherous enemy, there was a brief family discussion about our driving north instead to see Niagara Falls and to take the boat crews in rain slickers to the St. Lawrence River's Thousand Islands and then cross over in our car into Canada to visit Ottawa. Some among our friends and neighbors had already begun talking about leaving the country and migrating to Canada should the Lindbergh administration openly turn against the Jews. And so a trip to Canada would also familiarize us with a potential haven from persecution. Back in February, my cousin Alvin had already left for Canada and joined the Canadian Armed Forces, just as he said he would, and fight the British side against, on the British side against Hitler. And we'll pause there.